Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, our BMW that we have right now, um, as you may be able to see, is lit up like a Christmas tree. We've got the ABS light there, we've got the brake light next to it, and then we've got the traction control light on the centre there. Now we were driving along and these just came up. We've used the iCarSoft uh, CR Plus which is available from uh, just by clicking the link directly below this video and as you can see we've already diagnosed the fault we've got 5DC0 that's giving us a description of uh, wheel speed sensor which is an ABS sensor rear right so um, it looks like we've got a faulty ABS sensor um, it's not a bad um, thing to happen the, the old ABS sensors will probably fail eventually uh, the good news is they are quite cheap so we're going to pick a replacement up from Dominator Auto Diagnostics and Parts and take off the rear wheel, take off the rear ABS sensor, put the new one in and we should be able to come back into the vehicle and reset the fault codes and hopefully get rid of the warning lights that you see on the dashboard there. Uh, first of all though we'll, uh, we'll go and take the wheel off. Okay so we need to get this wheel off now. Alright so we have the wheel off. I'm going to show you the ABS sensor. This is the ABS sensor itself. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Let's see if I can get a light on it. There you go. So that's the ABS sensor there. And if we follow the cable, what it does is it goes through here. To this box here. That's where you need to remove it. And that's the connection undone right there. On the other end of it is just an Allen key. Okay, so these are the ABS sensors which are actually suitable for this car. Um, this one here is the rear sensor see the part number there um, and these are the front ABS sensors the two one for the left and one for the right two different parts there uh, what you want to do is log on to uh, Dominator Auto Diagnostics for these sensors it's www.bavariandominator.co.uk and you'll be able to pick up these ABS sensors uh, please note though that um, if your vehicle is slightly different to ours, the ABS sensors that you're, you're looking for might also be slightly different. Um, so do have a look on our YouTube channel because we do have a guide on how to find the right ABS sensor for your vehicle. Uh, or you can send us a message, send us an email and we'll get that information to you no problem at all and tell you which sensor you need to buy. This is the website here. If you look on the left hand side you've got options for ABS sensors. That's what you need to click on to. All right, so we're back in the car now. We have removed the faulty ABS sensor. We put the new one in, which we picked up from Dominator Auto Diagnostics for 20 pounds. And what we need to do is come out of this. The fault code is still there until we tell it. Otherwise, we need a clear fault memory. So we'll click on that and it's giving us a message. Do you want to clear DTCs? yes to that so it's succeeded to clear now hopefully the ABS lights will turn off there we go the lights have turned off uh, other than the brake light which you still see is on that light is because the handbrake is actually on so that's nothing to worry about uh, so if you are interested in this uh, CR Plus kit it's a multi-system so it will work on the main system so that's engine airbags ABS and transmission and it will work on most makes and models. So take a look at the listing uh, for further information and pictures and videos uh, just by clicking the link directly below this uh, video if you're watching on YouTube. Or you can visit the UK Pro Diagnostics website. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helps you.